Son burrows a hole in your heart on a day like this. Now don't you try. I'm not trying anything. Nice fields you got here. Green and gold like a catalog picture. What are you getting at, Dempster? Haven't you heard you haven't heard you whack poetic since the day you bought old Jim Myers some pump for half price? If you fellows observe nature without arousing your suspicion, please nope. speak, please, Matt. All right. You planted alfalfa instead of wood. Alfalfa would be the herd of sleep milk powder. The alfalfa brought your soil back to live again. Pick up a handful of that soil, Matt. How does it feel in the palm of your hand? It's good. It feels good. That soil is part of you. As much a part of your bones and flesh and blood. It's a lot. It breeds, and yet you want to murder it. You want to go back to raising wheat. Your slipshod cows. You haven't got the guts to be different. You gotta make a living. I can't do it with fancy words like you can. You can do it with that. Quite a, a story of serendipity. I, I was new to uh, Wisconsin and uh, happened, of all things, to be to need a a Port Atkinson in, uh, in Madison. So I ventured down got the part here in Fort Atkinson and noticed this wonderful history museum. And stopped in and the whole morning went past, several hours went past, and I was really, really impressed. Uh, very gratified to actually see another example of how I was, when we were moving to a state that really, really valued as well. When you want to create something, a, a work of history, the documents are so essential. What are the documents? What are you going to have to work with? And it was a natural thing that I would start with W.D. Hoare because his correspondence is voluminous, uh, prolific letter writer. And then, of course, as a publisher of a newspaper, it became a daily newspaper, and the, the preeminent dairy publication there would be some sense, at least an editorial, something that would give me a way to assess whether there was this sense of had it reorganized its um, horde papers. So it wasn't necessarily chronological, or at least the main divisions were by subject. And so there were a number of subjects related to W.D. Horde, given you know all this his work in publishing, uh, in the dairy industry, in politics. And there was one that said oleomargarine. And I knew margarine. I didn't really know oleo. And I have a feeling that there are going to be people in this audience who will have a, a real sense of the high stakes of this particular 